Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing fine. So today we're going to have a look at Phonica Pro 10.4.6 and how you deal with CEA captions. And more importantly, we're going to do a 5.1 stereo export. Woo, sounds exciting. Now with Premiere, sorry, Premiere, sorry guys, don't hate me. With Final Cut in the current version, you can only do 608 captions. Now, is it a good or a bad thing? I'm really not too sure because a lot of your digital distributors will actually upconvert your 608 to 708 captions. So it's not really the end of the world. A second little caveat on this is that Final Cut using the XD cam or any of the MXF formats does not do any of the caption embedding. So the only way out of Final Cut is through ProRes and with 608. So let's crack on. So right now I've just got a stereo timeline which is nice and easy and it's got my C8 on there. You don't need to turn anything on or off. It automatically comes on and there's my stereo mix there. So this is a dead easy one, just export it out. So let's do it. So up through here, we export this out, do a master file. And then through here, you do your rolls and you make sure your captions are turned on. CE8's here, it's all activated through there. There's no multi audio trackers, it's just stereo. And out it will go. So that is super easy. Now, 5.1 and stereo. So I copied my stereo track and I have my beautiful audio track here, which has got eight channels. I have a look at it right here. There's all my eight channels. Seven and eight is stereo. Five and one, uh, from one to uh, six are my 5.1 stereo, 5.1 surround mix. Apologies guys, I've just come over a cold, my head is all over the shop. So how do we make this into a thing we're after? Well, we then throw it down into our timeline, we take our audio and we activate our 5.1 stereo here. Don't do your mono and try to activate it, but more importantly, you should come up to your rolls and you need to edit your rolls to make sure you have a stereo and surround roll in it. Now this becomes really important when you go to export out, okay? So I change my stereo 5.1, I make sure that this is surround, I make sure this is stereo, and I put it down in here. Problem with Final Cut, as of today's version, you don't get to see the stereo 7 and 8. All you do is get to see the 5.1 out of here. So that's another kind of a bit of a gotcha. Good to hear your 5.1, but it'd be nice to see your stereo on there as well. If there's a way of doing it out there, guys, please hit me up, show me, I've scratched my head, I don't understand how to get that out. Okay, so to export this, unfortunately, you can't do it through compressor. Now compressor screws the audio up, which is a real shame because what you want to do here is activate your rolls to export this one out. So you come back up to here, you do your master, file format, when you come to your roles, you now need to activate your audio channels. So in this case, I've got my MOV, I now activate my multi-track, and then my surround is here and my stereo is here. Captions are going on for the ride, happy days, happy days, and next. So this allows you to now spit this out. Um, when you do a compressor, even though you're allocating the audio tracks to be correct, it won't do it. There's some sort of weird thing of the multi-track. Again, if you guys can fill me in and tell me what's going on, more than happy to hear it. So if I look at my media info now, um, I see my 5.1 track, my stereo track, and my C8 um, ones there. And I look at my, everything's all groovy that way. So if I do a, well, if we look at, oh, I'm not gonna look at compressor, there's no real reason. So in this case, that shows you how to get the stereo C8 and the um, 5.1, you could more than likely come in through here, change this to this and do it as this, and then activate your um, surround is here and stereo is here as well. That would work, either or dropping it down into the timeline then. Um, again, it's a great kit. By the way, guys, one little gotcha there. Park on your, um, your project, go to modify and make sure that's on surround there as well. So that helps it out there. All right, guys, um, hopefully that helps. But as always, the 608, chat to your digital distributor. Majority of them are happy to take in a 608 file and then they'll do all the work themselves. If they're not, then you need to look at an alternative way of doing it. This series is kind of showing you which ones can do the 708 as well. But hopefully that helped. As always, guys, have a great day.